Welcome to our short introduction on Fusion Reactor's heap histogram feature, which can be used to help you detect memory leaks or excessive object creation. The next feature I'm going to show you is the heap histogram. Running out of memory is probably one of the most common issues experienced, which makes memory profiling one of the most important areas of application and server profiling. It's difficult to get a good handle on where exactly memory is being used in Java, which makes identification of memory issues particularly challenging. Another problem is that all too often the memory issues are not apparent until an application is actually deployed to production. When testing locally or in a development environment, memory leaks remain elusive because you tend to reboot your server on a regular basis. The heap histogram is a fantastic tool to give you real-time insight into what's happening on the heap. As you can see, I've set the refresh rate here to one second. So we can see the heap utilization bound to classes and associated objects growing and shrinking as our application executes in real time. What you're looking for are deltas of the number of objects created and memory utilized while executing some particular application or some specific transaction. If you know that after that transaction is executed, your allocated object should be released, then the delta should highlight any potential memory issues that you've got. In order to locate memory leaks or causes where object creation is excessive, you have to do the following. First of all, you need to force a full garbage collection, and you can do that through the force GC button up at the top. And once you do that, the GC will tell you how much memory has been freed up. And what you need to do then is you need to take a snapshot of the heap. And you can do that with the new snapshot button. And Fusion Reactor will tell you that that worked correctly. Now what you've got to do at this point, you may have to wait for a specific period of time or possibly execute some part of your production application or execute some transaction. What you do then is you'd force another GC, followed by a new snapshot. And then what you do is you go into the heap snapshots page, which is over here, and you could select the two snapshots that you've taken. So in our case, this is the last two, and you perform a diff. So basically you compare them looking for differences in um, the number of objects created and the size of those objects created. And this data that you see here, it can also be sorted based on class name or objects allocated or memory allocated so that you can really focus on your issues. So we just do a quick just sort here on the objects delta. So we see that here in this uh, hash set that contained um, the most uh, difference in objects created between those two snapshots. Another useful technique is to filter on a specific class name if you think you know where the problem might be. For example, if you believe the issue is related to JDBC drivers, then what you do is you can click on find and just type JDBC and confirm that. And then we'll only show you classes which contain the string JDBC. Again, enabling you to really focus on where your issues might be. So this concludes the short introduction to the Fusion Reactor heap histogram feature, which can be found in Fusion Reactor's Ultimate Edition.